was that it was so brutally unfun. It's like they give you this 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 surfing mechanic, and then they make the water so choppy that you can't really go fast with it. And then they give you one uh, insanely easy level, and then one really finicky hard level. And there's no place where you can really cut loose with it except that first section where they where they let you learn the controls before you actually start the track. So from that des- from that standpoint, I thought race surfing was very poorly designed. And I still I think both of them were poorly designed. I think race surfing is slightly better because you're actually on something solid, unlike unlike something the liquid. gliding where you can't stop. You can't look around, and the motion controls will be really finicky at times, and it'll just cause you to crash into stuff. Well, you're not supposed to stop. (laughs) You're supposed to steer. Yes, but its controls are so finicky, it'll just crash you into stuff, because you can't stop and try and line up correctly. You're going too fast. And when you're trying to use the motion controls, it'll just send you careening off into spaces you didn't mean to because you're trying to get out of the way of something else the game put you in front of for no other reason than it doesn't feel like you're reading your controller right. Hmm. That is very, very strange because I didn't have that problem at all. I did crash into one of the gates that you have to go through to get the the um, <laughs> the Comet Metal <laughs> once, which was an instant death because it counts as a head-on collision. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying, but but more embarrassing than anything. But that was a one-time occurrence. Most of the time, my control was really smooth. Yeah, my control was terrible on there. Mm, maybe it's just... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just better than you. Maybe I just got lucky. I can't really say, because I can't really step inside your head and understand what was going on while you were playing that level. But whatever. Uh... Let me see. Was, was were there any other motion gimmicks in this game, or just the no, two? No, I, I think it was just those two. They cut some out. I think they realized that a lot of people didn't care for the motion control stuff in Galaxy One. Well, Galaxy One, I didn't care for the race surfing, but I but I did like the bubble blast one, and I did yeah. love. I actually I, I, did. I, I, love I didn't care so much for bubble blast, and I'm glad that was gone. Probably because there's nothing they could have really done with that other than do the same thing. Yeah. Well, uh, I I didn't like that the green stars unlocked the trial galaxies in number one. It's like, okay, I went through all that work finding these three extra hidden stars, and what do I get? Uh, Three gimmick levels? I thought this was supposed to test my skills at the game that I'm playing, not my skills at a side game, you know? Uh, Speaking of Grandmaster Galaxy, that was fairly awesome considering how stock and generic all the parts that that, uh, make up the level were. Let's see, first part with the Yoshi now is actually quite easy once you got the hang of it. I I thought it was quite easy the first time through, but maybe that's because... It it, it took me a life or two the first time because I hadn't quite figured out that you can't have something in between you because the physics are a bit weird when you do it, but... The physics aren't weird. They just shoot you straight forward toward the thing once you latch onto it. I thought it. Would, I thought that would be common sense. Yeah. I, I only died like once or twice. It's not too bad. The second part with the switches, it's like, why is this here? <laughs> why if, is if this you have, here? If you actually managed to die to that, how did you manage to get the first two hundred and forty-one stars? <laughs> You know, when I first thought that, saw that, I thought it would be slightly a bit of a pain because those laser things no, they, always they managed to slowly, hit me. Because uh, uh, in other situations, the laser things always, almost always manage to hit me. But you can just run around in a big old circle, and they never have time to. It's like, uh, why? What? It's why like they, <laughs> they just had to put one last flip switch puzzle in that galaxy, didn't they? One last flip switch puzzle. We haven't seen enough of those, have we? And then you that, get that to the part, that part's pretty easy. Although I, as you saw in my video, I always use the cloud suit to just skip the entire thing. <laughs> yeah, I give you the cloud section and that with the uh, with the lightning maze thing, which it's is fairly uh, easy. <laughs> fairly easy and possibly the only like non level, possibly the, the game's most obvious non level section ever because it's it's just it's literally just lightning fences with cloud power ups thrown in. Yeah, and as I showed if you time the like, cloud right you can actually bring all three clouds with you. That's really the only element of challenge to that section. There are actually two different ways you can do that. I actually managed to do that without timing anything. I just sort of made a cloud right below the power up as it respawned and um 
jumped up and then slipped off it in just the right angle to get to the light. And you know what? This is impossible to talk about without a visual representation. Um, the point is, if the the section right after that can either be insanely hard or insanely easy, depending on how many clouds you bring with you. And as I showed you, it can be insanely easy if you bring all three with you. <laughs> yeah, so you can practically skip the whole thing. It's like, oh god, the shockwave things, and with a cloud suit, no less, because your jump because your jump is so floaty. Yeah, your jump is so floaty. And what that I don't understand is why they stop shooting after you pass them. Uh because the game decided to be fair. I don't know. It makes no sense why they would just stop, but whatever, I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> well, actually, don't they do something similar in one of the galaxies in Galaxy 1? I'm not sure. I'd have to go check. I think it was this section that looked like an aircraft carrier. Uh, not really sure, but I think they stopped when you got a certain distance behind them. Let's I guess see, it, after that section was the uh, grabbing stuff, which was easy. You didn't have to time it right, which really isn't much of a challenge. That's fairly hard. Yeah. The, I, uh, I never died to it. You know what? That section is a lot easier depending on how many times you died. Because every time you die, you pick up one star bit at the beginning of the level. And if you have those stocked up, you can just shoot the shit out of everything that's in front of you. <laughs> like the Hammer yeah. Brothers at the end. <laughs> well, that too, Yeah. And even in the Daredevil run, which is k kind of friggin' hard, actually, uh, the Hammer Brothers section is the is is the section that makes the level hard, because it basically it. it basically pulls a Super Mario Brothers two on you and and it's spams Hammer Brothers at you, <laughs> and it makes you have to platform through that shitstorm. And then you and have to fight three Boomerang Brothers on a tiny <laughs> platform. And if you yeah. don't kill that hammer brother at the end, he'll continue to throw hammers at you and most likely blindside you. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? I actually, I actually watched someone else play that level, and they managed to beat the three hammer brothers fairly quickly without killing any of the, ha uh, the three boomerang brothers, without killing any of the hammer brothers. I'm like, that's badass. I, I uh, couldn't I, do I, that. I, I, I did it the first, that's how I did it the first time I beat the level. It's just I found it's easier to just kill that last hammer brother so he doesn't blindside you. It's just, yeah, it's just... I, I can't keep track of three Boomerang Brothers and one off-screen Hammer Brother at the same time. I guess I just don't have the uh, the attention span for it. But uh, I, I kind of liked the uh, Rosalina appearance at the end of that because, you know, I was a fan of Galaxy 1's story and one of my complaints with Galaxy 2 was that it was throwing that all out the window. It's, it's yeah, nice to see it. There needed to be less story even though there wasn't much story in Galaxy 1, but at least it was a good story. So It was... It was a good story, yeah. And to its credit, Galaxy 2's story wasn't wasn't badly executed. I it was hate just Lubba. Uh, stupid fat purple twat. I find it in I find it extremely condescending when a game tells me I should be taking a break, break because yeah. I'm playing too long. <laughs> and how it constantly tells you that you should play with the second player because it might be easier and more fun. It's like, screw you, Nintendo, I don't want my game easier, and some of us like playing our games solo. Yeah. It's like, have you ever thought of that, Nintendo? No, thanks. <laughs> yeah, well, it does look like the game was designed with a little slightly more with the second player in mind, though. It's, like a, it's, it's cool that it's there, but you don't have to tell me it's there. I'm fine on my own, thanks. I read the instructions. Yeah, I like, saw it, the little... it, it, It's there in the instructions for those who want it. I saw the little P2 button on the save select screen, too. Yeah. And I heard you the last five times you told me. You can stop now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, it, what I did like was the way you sort of collected things as you played through the game. And they basically served no purpose but to, but to serve as decorations for Starship Mario. <laughs> Look, I just collected a pair of Guillermo's. They give me this one time only one up mushroom that I lose the first time I decide to quit the game anyway, so I don't really care. And oh look, I beat the game. Rosalina is now a permanent decoration in my cockpit. <laughs> and she just says one line and then you never do anything with her. And I just realized as I was saying that that was kind of a suggestive line, but I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> and uh it's like I collected all the various peoples. Did I collect the Pianta at one point? I yes, don't remember. No, you don't. You don't get a Pianta. And then for no apparent reason, after certain missions you collect the power ups, which just basically sit in that one inside room in the I mean, starship it, it, that you it, never it, visit anyway. 
Well, it'd be cool if you could go into that room and pick up the power up and you know go around the hub world with it or something. Yeah. But yeah, no, Star you can't do anything. Star Starship Mario is Mario's... Really pointless. It's pointless, but it never really gets in your way, so I can't really complain. I mean, it's a decent place to get used to the controls at first, and you can farm for lives there or something righteous. But uh, it's, well, what, it's utterly pointless. <laughs> what is there to do? You can pick up Mar, you can pick up Yoshi and eat these ten fruit up on this one platform that give you a one up. You can uh, pick 